Hey, so if you've already decided to get up and running with birdies, that is awesome. This is going to be a video that will just sort of take you through how to use every part of the website, uh, every part of the tool. If you haven't decided to get up and running with birdies, you sort of want to see how the whole thing works and why it's awesome and why it's a big deal, then um, you're going to learn. You're going to see that in this video. So let's start from the beginning here. When you get your email that you've successfully created a trial, you're going to be able to enter your password in right here. And it's going to bring you to your dashboard, which is going to look like this. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to manage this particular event. And the way that we get into this event is just by clicking this little down arrow and just clicking any of this information. And then that gets you right here to your basic info. Now, the first thing that you're probably going to want to be able to do is edit all of the information on this front page. Right, that's the stuff that people see first. So that's what you're gonna wanna that's what you're gonna wanna edit first. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And, and you do that right up here by going to manage this event, and you can do it right in the event details here. So this whole thing is all going to be really easy to fill out. All of your 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 custom URL can be set up right here. You s fill out all of the information about the event right here, nice and easy. If you wanna change font sizes, you just do it right here, or you just hit uh, Control Z and that'll go back to what your original font was. Uh, if you wanna change the um, About Us page, you just click on the About Us page right here, this link, and that'll change up, uh, give you the opportunity to change up all your text. If you wanna add a video, you can add a video uh, just basically by going into the HTML button right here and adding the embed link from uh, from YouTube. Uh, really simple to do. Uh, you're going to want to put the location information. You do the location right here. Dates and times. You just put whatever dates and times you want. If I want to add a time, I can just say that the dinner is going to be at uh, 7 p.m. And we're just going to go right here. 7 o'clock p.m. and that's how it goes and then you just update that uh, if you want to get rid of it very simple you just go here and you update it again edit contact information this is where you edit your contact information and all of this is happening right in the about the event tab um, so let's go over here to how to add a registration item so we'll just say that you want to add a platinum sponsorship So we're going to click on add new item and it brings us right here. New standard item. We're going to call this platinum sponsor one and it's going to be a thousand dollars. Now we're going to give this person four golfers in this registration. We want, it, we want this sponsorship to show up on the registration page and on the sponsorship page. Here we can decide whether or not we want to add tax and uh, what's included in the sponsorship you get four dinner tickets four golfers and four free shirts uh, when somebody buys this if you want them to be able to upload a logo you just click right here which in this case we would so we're going to save that and then we're going to go to the image uh, we grab the platinum sponsor right here we're going to drag that here upload it and there we go. So now we have our platinum sponsor one. We uploaded an image. Um, if we want to add any extra content under the sponsor, we can do it here. If we want to do a promo code or any type of a discount, we can do that here that the customer would um, enter in at checkout. And then if we want to enter in a custom question, we can do that right here. So in this case, we might want to ask the golfers for shirt size because if we're giving away free shirts, we need to know what that shirt size is. And you do that right here in custom questions, very handy. Uh, we're gonna save that. And now when we go to view the website, and we go to the register page, here it is. And people can add this to cart. They can add many things to their cart all at the same time, and they don't have to go back and pay individually for every single one of them. So that's how you add a registration item. Now let's talk about how to add a picture. So we'll just say that somebody uh, that, that somebody wants to sponsor your event. We'll say it is our Bella Insurance wants to sponsor your event. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the Arbella Insurance 
logo from right here. Save that image. And we'll say that we want to add them as one of our sponsors on the left hand side of the screen. So in this case, we're just going to add a general image, Arbella Insurance. And we probably want to link to them. HTTP link and then put a description in there if you want and this is where you decide where their logo is going to be displayed So in this case, we definitely want it to be displayed in the R supporters sidebar and in the R supporters page We're going to upload that image and in a second you're going to see that just doing that one thing uh, Brings up their logo right there Okay, so that's how you would add a sponsor now What if you wanted to change your logo at the top left hand corner all you would do is go back to images and logos and you would just change this to my logo find a file that you want to we'll just say it's this platinum sponsor one upload that image and there you go now we want to get rid of that right because that is not the proper uh, that is not the proper logo so all we have to do is just delete the image Go back to view website, and there it is. We're all set. So say say somebody buys this registration item. Say somebody buys the Platinum Sponsor 1 here. So we'll go back to images, and we will say it's our Bella Insurance who purchases this, and upload that. And of course, what we also want to do is demonstrate that they have bought that sponsorship. So the way that you demonstrate that somebody bought a particular sponsorship is you just change the quantity to zero and that's going to mark it sold. And say we also want this thing to be up higher, you know, closer to the top. We're just going to click right here. We're going to put this, you know, kind of wherever we want it to be. And it's going to go here and display order. We'll say we want it to be number one. You know, we really want to show these guys off. This is great. You know, thank you for your, thank you for your support. Let's go ahead and save that. We're showing that still on our register and our sponsorship page. And voila, there it is. Okay, so you can see sold. This is what they got. That's who bought it. And it's also going to be on the Our Supporters page right there. There they are. Um, now, say we wanted to, like, you know, put a, put a description in there of them. That's probably a good idea as well. Um, so let's go back to images and logos, right? Because the description and the link and everything, that's all part of their image slash logo. So we're going to go over here, scroll all the way down to their logo. There it is. We've got the link, right? Because we, we know that because it was a button attached to their logo that said, um, you know, visit website. And so here is their description. Plug in their description. And you know what? We can even plug in their Facebook link. So there's their Facebook link, and we're going to plug that in there and update the image, and now watch what happens. So we go to View Website. Our bell is going to show up along the left-hand side there. Here they are. Here's the Visit Website. Here's the Facebook link. Here's the complete description that we just plugged in there. Now they also show up under the Sponsorship tab as a buyer of that sponsorship, and they show up under the Our Supporters tab. So, you know, just a really easy way to, you know, promote your sponsors like crazy. And that's kind of what we're going for. Now we're going to have some more fun with images and logos here. So we'll say you wanted to add a picture to your About Us page. Okay, so first thing we need to do is let's get the picture. So we're just going to grab, uh, we're going to take this picture right here to these guys having a great time. We're just going to go ahead and save that image. And we're going to go over here, back here, to Images and Logos. And let's just add a general picture. We're going to leave this as my general. We're going to drag this picture right here. And it's going to be called Golfers Having Fun. So go ahead and upload that image. Now we're going to go to the page that we actually want to put this on. So we said we want to put this on the About Us page, right? So go to About the Event. Go to about us supporters page and then let's just put this uh, let's just put this picture all the way to the bottom here expand this here make this a little easier to work with
And now what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here to this thing right here, this little image of a tree. And this is going to allow us to insert an image. So we're going to just grab this image list right here. And we're going to go to Golfers Having Fun. That's the one that we like. We're going to change the sizing. We're going to make this, uh, say, 500. And go ahead and insert that. And there it is. And then if we want it centered, we just center it just like that. And go down here and hit Update. Now say you also wanted to add a video to this page. So we're going to go right down here. And this is a little bit more technical, but it's actually really, really easy to do. First thing you need to do is have the video handy. So you have to have the video uploaded to YouTube. And so you go right over here to YouTube. We're going to grab this Happy Gilmore swing. And we're going to get the embed code. So we're going to take this embed code, copy that, go back over here to our event site, and go into the HTML. Hit return a couple of times. Control V to paste that HTML into this. Update it. And there it is. There's your video. That simple. If you want to center it, all you got to do is just center it. <laughs> just like that. Now, say you want to delete it. You know, you don't want this thing anymore. Just bang, just take it out of there. Uh, just hit backspace on both of those things. Backspace here just to eliminate any extra space down there at the bottom. Hit update and you're all set. So we're going to get into the payment options page right now. So here's your payment processing options. Now you have two different ways to process payment. People can pay with a credit card or they can pay with an invoice. So you can create your own invoice that they can print off of the website, which is a really cool feature to have so that you don't have to be sending out manual invoices to everybody that registers for your tournament or wants to sponsor your tournament. Um, so, but if you wanted to use PayPal, we'll just say do, you just click on use PayPal right here. And then if you have a PayPal account, you're going to have an email address that's associated with that account. And you're just going to plug it in right here and save it. Now, if you want to change some part of your invoice, first of all, the way to view your invoice is just to click on invoice options. Again, we're in payment options. Click on invoice options right here and preview. And here's what the invoice looks like. Now, say you want to uh, put something on here that says, you know, make checks payable to ABC Corporation. Very simple to do that. All you need to do is go to display payment notes. Make checks payable to ABC Corporation. Save invoice options. And there it is. We'll say you want to change this information right here. This information is actually derived from your about the event page when we did our contact information. So if you wanted to change that, you would just change this information right here and that will automatically update what you see here. This company name, this is the information for the, for the company who's actually buying the sponsorship or for the company who's buying the registration or the golfer that's buying the registration. That's what's gonna be right here. And this invoices everything that they have purchased. Say you want to manage your registrants. You know how do I how do I see who's registered for my tournament? Who how do I see who's paid, who hasn't paid? All of that is going to live right here in the registrants section. So the registrants section is sort of where you're going to spend the majority of your time if you are the event coordinator or the event manager. So this is where all of your registrants live, so to speak. This is where all the information lives. So let's just say you want to get a report of everybody that signed up for your golf tournament. You're just going to click on download full report right here. And there it is. So that is the that is everything that you need. This is everybody that's registered for your tournament. It's completely tabbed out based on how many different registration items you have. So um, you know if you have a so like you can see right here, you got longest drive, gold sponsor, foursome. This is how you're going to be able to access everybody's information uh, from one easy screen. Say you would like to just see who has paid. What you want to do is just click on paid registrations. This is everybody that's already. Uh, this is everybody that's already paid you. And if you just want to see who you've got to track down, you click on unpaid. If you just want to see your T sheet or manipulate your T sheet, you just go right here, and that's going to give you your T sheet. If you're managing that portion of the tournament as well. 
As you can see here too, you can also tell who has uploaded an image and who has not uploaded an image. Say you want to just sort of see who has registered and who's registered underneath other people. So we can go right here to this person. Uh, I can see that this person purchased a foursome and also made a $100 donation. I can see what course they're starting from. I can change the T that they're starting from as well. I can download their invoice in case they didn't uh, don't have it for their records. I can always download it and email it to them. I can put in here, you know, this guy won last year. Recognize him at the dinner. Right, so just just really cool stuff like that that you can use to sort of keep track of uh, of what you're doing. Now, let's say you want to have an online auction. If you want to have an online auction, you just go right here to your auction items, and you can add whatever you would like. So, if you want to add a you know if you want to add a new auction item, you just click right here, add new auction item, and the rest of this is it's really really simple. You just name it. Uh, find a picture on your computer that uh, represents it, hopefully a picture of the item itself, or if, if you're giving away a, you know, an experience of some sort, like you're sending somebody on a vacation, whatever you want to do. Whatever the minimum bid is going to be, whatever the increments are going to be, you can put links in here, you can really kind of get granular with this, and then you just add it. And people can bid on your auction item on your website. And here's what that looks like. We can always go back to view website right here. I can view the auction items page and I can place a bid. And when I do that, it brings me right to this and it allows me to post it. Now, say all you want to do is make a donation to this particular charity. People can do that too. Uh, they can donate whatever they want and they can add it to their cart and they can pay with a credit card or they can mail you a check, whatever works best, however you want to do it. If you want to make any changes to what these say over here, um, you know, so you want to change this, that it, maybe you want this to say about, about our organization, you just go right back over here to your event details. You find that page, which in this case is going to be under about our event and about us, and you just change the navigation text about our organization. Maybe you don't even want to show the page. You just click hide the page right here. But assuming you do want to show the page, Click right here, update, and view your website. And there you go. That's how you change that. Now, you can also change this to a uh, horizontal navigation instead of a left-hand navigation. You can also change the background. You can pretty much do whatever you want here. And you do that right here from the look and feel section. So if you want to select a template and you want to go to horizontal navigation, you want to change this to a green theme, horizontal navigation, there you go. That's how you do it, and it, and it takes uh, it sort of takes over your website for you and makes it uh, so that you navigate horizontally. Or if you want to change the background, you go right here. You have all these different choices of all these different backgrounds that, that you that you might want. Uh, so you can pretty much choose any one of them that you'd like. Or you can upload your own custom background. And the way that you do that is by going to images and logos, uploading a picture right here, and choose background. So hopefully this has answered a lot of your questions, and certainly if you have more, you just email us or call us. We're very accessible to work with, and we appreciate you watching.